Good morning, students, and welcome again with Commercial Subjects Group Level 2, Communication Skills, Chapter 5, Do Meeting Documents. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to list the forms of sending a notice, describe the main parts of an agenda, and finally, define the term minutes of a meeting. Let's start with a starter activity or engaging starter. Read the advertisement which was published in one of the newspaper. I'm going to read the advertisement and then we're going to answer these four questions. ABC Limited Notice Notice is hereby given that the 22nd Annual General Meeting of ABC Limited will be held at a wall hall in Gulf Hotel on Monday, 20th May 2019 at 10 a.m. to transact the business set out and the notice convening the annual general meeting, which will be sent to the shareholders along with the explanatory statement under Section 173 of Companies Act 1956 for ABC Limited. Now, let's answer the questions. Question 1. What do you think the advertisement represent? The advertisement represent notice of invitation. Question two, who is the sender and receiver of the advertisement? The sender is ABC Limited. The company is the sender. And the receiver are the shareholders. Question 3. When should you send this document? Of course, we shouldn't send it one day before. We must send it 10 days to 2 weeks before. Question 4. What are the important things that you should consider in this advertisement? Of course, when we're going to send the notice, we should tell them about the place, the date, and the time. These are the points that we have to consider. Now let's start with our first objective. Notice. What do I mean by notice? Notice is any form any form of communication sent to the members of the meeting to inform them about the time date and place of the meeting so these are the four important things that you have to consider when sending a notice this is a sample of a notice let's see it together two to whom we're going to send this notice. So two, we mean by it, the receiver. From, who sent this notice? So from the sender. The date, please concentrate here. On the date, look at the month. It must be in words, okay? You shouldn't write it like this. This way is wrong. The month must be in words. And the subject, what the meeting is about? You're going to find it from the question itself. Now, moving on to the body. Please be informed. This one, you must write it at the beginning. Please be informed. And then you're going to write the other criteria, which are the time, date, and place. So, please be informed of our meeting scheduled on Sunday, 27 March. So here they mentioned the date at 10 a.m. the time and the conference room number two. And this is the place. And here they tell them meetings about what? The meeting will discuss the new trying programs that will be held in BIBF next month. So this is sample of a notice. A notice is to inform the participant 
about the meeting and it could be in the one following forms. Now, what are the ways that they're going to send the participant, tell them about the notice? I can send it either written, I'm going to type it and send it to them, or through press, which I mean it by the newspaper. I'm going to put the notice in the newspaper and they're going to read it. Or by bill posting by the post office or door-to-door -door handbills. Direct, the postman will go to their company and give them the notice. Or by the notice board. Notice board can be used also inside the company instead of making copies of papers. I put it in the notice board and the employee will know about the meeting. And the last way is through broadcasting, which you mostly know how to use the broadcasting. Let's move on to our second objective, which is the agenda. What do I mean by agenda? Agenda is a list of topics to be discussed in meeting. In our meeting that we're going to meet, what are the topics that we're going to discuss? We're going to put them in the agenda. This is a sample of the agenda. Here are the fixed items. These items are fixed, okay? In every agenda, you're gonna see these items. First of all, we're gonna welcome or open the meeting. The chairman will welcome the, the members and he will start the meeting. And then, apologies for absence. There was any member who couldn't attend the meeting for any reason, the chairman well, apology instead of him. Let's say, for example, one of the members couldn't attend because he had another meeting in another place. So he'll say, for example, Mr. Muhammad couldn't come this meeting because he had another meeting. Number three, approve minutes of the previous meeting. Here we have minutes. What do I mean by minutes? We're going to know it later on. In the previous meeting, they discussed some topics. So in this meeting, they're going to get the approval from all the members. Are they, did they approve on this discussion or no? And number four, matters arising from the previous meeting. As we know, in the meeting, they come with discussion that need to take action. They want to see the follow-up. How did they do? So in this meeting, they will see what actions have been done with that point. Number five, a list of specific points to be discussed. These points for today's meeting. Okay, these points for today's meeting. What are today's points they're gonna discuss? They're gonna list it here. And then, any other business or AOB. What do I mean by any other business? Let's say, for example, one of the participants, he wants to say something but not related to our topic. If you have this point, they will tell it or say it in the other, any other business. So in any other business, allow a participant to raise another point. You see with me, another point, not related to our meeting discussion. And then arrange or announce details of next meeting. If we're going to do another meeting, the chairman, before the members leave, he must tell them that, for example, Next week, we're going to have meeting at 10 o'clock in conference room number two, for example. Moving on to the, our last objective, which is minutes. Minutes. What do I mean by minutes? Maybe when you hear the word minutes, you will see the minutes and the time. But here it's different. Minutes is a written record of all the issues that have been discussed in the meeting. As we know that the chairman, while he's talking, the secretary will be sitting next to him and recording everything he has said. This is a sample of the minutes, but you don't have to write it. You just have to understand or know only the meaning. This is just for you to know how the minutes is written. So here will be the present, the members who attend, members who were absent, and minutes of the last meeting, and here are the topics that they have discussed in the previous meeting. Now we'll take questions. I'll ask you five questions and you have to answer it. We're going to answer it together. Question one. Blank are written records 
of proceeding and resolutions took place in a meeting. A. Agenda. B. Notice. C. Minutes. D. Report. The answer is C. Minutes. Question 2. The final item for discussion in a formal meeting is known as A. Apologies for absence. B. Any other business. C. A list of discussion point. D. Conclusion. The answer is B. Any other business. This will be the last item in discussion. Question 3. Distributing the agenda is process taken. A. Before the meeting. B. During the meeting. C. After the meeting. D. Both answers A and B. The answer is before the meeting. Question 4. All the following are forms to call someone for a meeting. Except A. Written notice B. Shaking hands C. Door-to-door handbills D. Broadcasting The answer is B. Shaking hands The last question is Minutes are prepared after the meeting True or false? The answer is true. Thank you for listening and you can find the lesson on the EDUNet and on the website of Ministry of Education. Wish you all the best.